Moving without the basketball might be the most underrated skill in the game, and year after year we see the best players use this to get easy baskets. And it's not even something that they just want to use, it's a basic necessity, especially if you're a high priority on defense. Even a quick glance at this list of benefits can show you that this is something that needs to be put into your game as soon as possible. This video is going to dissect how the best players use this skill to get an easy shot, but if you want to dive deep then you need to get into the Hoop Study Wing IQ Academy and learn about the different cuts they use and the different screens that they use. However, in this video we're going to cover three major categories, transition shooting, cuts, and screens. Let's get started. Transition shooting. For transition shooting, shooters are going to run to one of seven major spots. You can see that they are the corner, wing, slot, and top. For this specific clip, we're gonna focus on this man that ran down to the corner. And we're gonna see that he's going to shake up to the wing. It's important to understand that while you are moving on the court that you should not just stand stationary even if it's in transition. In our next clip, we see that the individual here on the wing is gonna run down to the corner, drifting with the basketball and gets a shot up. Now you might not automatically get the ball in transition. You might have to slow up and run to a spot to where you know that you can knock down a shot or just look for the open area on the court. And again, in our last clip, we're gonna see that they run down the court, get to the wing. Now they're watching the defender and how they have a long closeout, so they give them a ball fake and get into their shot. Now when you get in the half court setting, you might have to use your body and your hands. You can see here that Jordan has to do this while the defense swarms him, but probably the best person to do this was Reggie Miller. You can see he walks his man up, gives him a little bump, and gets back door. And now we see Steph Curry use this a lot as well. But it's not always necessary to use your hands or your body. Sometimes you can just get open by cutting. You see in this clip that this individual just simply utilizes a 45 cut and gets an easy basket. And in our next one, we do see that he has to grapple a little bit, but he's being overplayed, so he cuts back door and gets a vicious dunk at the rim. In fact, even in Yao Ming's book, his father, who is also a pro, tells him, every time you have the ball, no chance to shoot, he said, move quickly right after you pass the ball because the defense will watch the ball, at least for a little bit. That means they're not concentrating on you. In that second or two, you can move into a better position. It's a small thing, but it's very important. We see that very principle shown here with LeBron James. LeBron James, the best player in the world, gives the ball up and the entire defense pays attention to the ball that is being driven to the basket. So he cuts down the middle and is able to get an easy layup opportunity. And even the Iverson cut that was designed for him to get open while people chased him around the floor, whether that was for a jumper or so he could rip and get downhill for a layup, is still being utilized in the game today to free up different players. Taking a look at different screens that you can use, first up we have the hammer screen where they step up from the baseline and scream for the man on the wing. It's a wide open jump shot. Also the elevator screen where they run through two screens, they close the door wide open jumper. We'll see here a stagger. And now the next individual can come off of that pin down, wide open dunk. And again, using another pin on the baseline to get a wide open jumper. The major commonality here is that these shooters do not stop moving. They're running all over the floor, using different screens to get open for a shot. One of the best to ever do this was Ray Allen, and we're going to listen to a lesson that he gave at a camp that I work every year. You don't want to just sit over here and just drop, and don't let your body move it. So the hardest thing in the NBA, the three-point line is about right here. So you have even less space. So when you have less space, you have to learn to use your momentum to move. This is not corner. For all the shooters in the building, this is corner. See where I am? This is the corner that I always occupied because it looks like from here, it looks like I'm behind the basket, which I am, but the basket's still the same. I can still shoot and make the shot. But what happens is, is you have to be willing to move yourself because my defender, if I'm standing here, my defense, I'm here, my defender's here. So what happens is my defender can walk up. But the minute I go to the corner, my defender has to come down here and be smart. 
If he stays up here, that's why we start running. That's how we, as shooters, we roam the baseline. You ever see a great shooter, Rip Hamilton, who's good at it? Come right here and stand right there. He's, no, just stand there like you're gardening. What we'll do is, this little game coming off over there. What we'll do is, he's watching the ball, and then we just drip, drip, drip like this. He got locked, and we take off. And by the time he sees that I'm gone, I'm taking a shot on the other side. That's why as shooters, you guys want to face the floor and be in the corner. This is a corner three. But most importantly, you don't let you, if you, if you, you, if you're not moving and, and he finds you and he sees you and he drops, walk back up. Don't keep still. Walk, you want to keep active, keep moving because there's going to be a point. I'm going to walk back up, he's going to see me and then I'm going to walk back down and in the minute he, there's a drive, he helps, I'm gone. They fine. I might even get a layup. But as shooters, you have to constantly keep your, as basketball players, you have to constantly keep your feet moving. And when you find yourself in this corner, don't get buried. Keep walking yourself up. Don't fall the middle, but keep walking yourself up and down. And then you might take off. So again, while crossovers are sexy and they do make highlight tapes, the best athletes utilize cutting and coming off of screens to get open good shots. They have to. Defenders are chasing them everywhere. If they don't utilize cuts and screens, they're not going to get open shots. So the next time you find yourself in a game and you cannot figure out a way to get a shot off, start to move and run off of different screens to get an open look.